All right, welcome everyone. I'm super excited to uh, have Sean McRae on the channel today. Uh, I've known Sean for a number of years. Back when I was running my boutique brokerage, uh, I reached out to Sean. We had we had a coffee, then we had lunch, and we just got chatting about sort of the, the future of real estate. And at that point, uh, my boutique brokerage wasn't uh, in a position where where it was ready for Sean to take that leap, but after coming over to EXP, Sean joined with me, and uh, I can say we're officially partners in business, and uh, we wanted to hop on here and uh, have a chat, Sean, get some feedback from you, uh, how the last 12 months have been at EXP, what you like, maybe what you don't like, where you see the industry headed, um, but before we unpack all that, tell us about yourself. All right, well, thanks for the introduction, Liam. So, uh, Yes, I've been a broker uh, for about five years at this point. Well, maybe not a broker for five years, but I've been in the business for five years. Uh, prior to that, I owned a general contracting company, uh, which now I've, I've moved over into a licensed Tarion custom home builder. Uh, so I'm building custom homes uh, with two corporations actually right now. Um, I've moved over from Capital Homes on the real estate side, which was my the initial brokerage that I signed up for. Um, you know, Liam and I met uh, a number of years ago, like you mentioned, uh, actually just over a, a random lunch, uh, started having discussions about working together. The synergy was there. Um, you know, it was a good vibe, good connection. Uh, it was as close as I was going to get from jumping ship from where I was, uh, over to Liam's brokerage at the time. Um, actually, to be honest, it was really, it was really tough. Cause I do, uh, like the owners of the previous brokerage, uh, who I still work with over at EXP now, um, and my, uh, my best friend was over there as well. So it just, it just wasn't the right move. I actually never considered moving, uh, brokerages until I, uh, until I actually had those conversations with Liam. Um, but you know, as chance would, as fate would have it, I should say, here we are now we're, we're both at EXP. Um, you know, my brokerage that I was with, uh, Capital Homes moved over to EXP because of Liam, uh, as a, as a main force behind that. So uh, it was it was pretty com quite comical when when we made the switch because I didn't know that this was happening. I didn't know who was bringing us over, so it was really funny to find out. It was like, oh, you know, Liam brought the group over, so now Liam and I are working together. So I didn't yeah. actually have to make any hard decisions; they were kind of made uh, for me. And uh, you know, it's been great. It's been just over twelve months. Uh, it's been awesome, man. So aside from the home building, I'm doing I do flips, so I buy and hold, I sell. Um, you know, on that side, my wife does interior design, so it's a good fit in that regard. I mentioned the custom home building. Uh, I'm a real estate broker um, as my main focus because that's my one of my biggest passion. That and actually the music side. So I'm actually a music exec for a, a small label that's uh, just in the process as we speak of signing a major deal. So that's exciting. That's um, awesome. Yeah, Thank I can't you. share too much on that right now, but uh, so you got a um, lot but yeah, of so fires in the fire, like. Home building, production, um, flips. How how many companies are you running right now? I've got about five. Uh, wow. About five that I'm that I'm in on. So obviously on you. the real estate side, a bunch of them are tied together, right? Like yeah. separate businesses, but same same line of fire in terms of like buying and holding, sure. flipping, um, you know, pro and then obviously doing the building, and then the yeah. real estate side in terms of the buying and selling. So yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. So. What I'd love to do is, is unpack, Sean, sort of, you know, five years in the business, last 12 months, 13 months at EXP. Um, you know, those listening in are, are probably consuming content of, of deciding like, you know, is, is EXP the right brokerage for me or not? And, and I can say it, it's not for everyone. Um, timing has to be right. But uh, can you unpack for us, Sean, sort of your journey um, you know, where you were when you started 12 months ago, where you are now with EXP and, uh, you know, the top three things you're really enjoying about the company. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, it was quite a big shift from where I was to, uh, to, to coming to EXP. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely a, a bigger corporation than what I was used to. So we were in a smaller, uh, a boutique brokerage or I was as well, as well. So, yeah. um, you know, a few of the things are just the incentives and the, you know, kind of the team effort, the team mentality over at EXP. Um, you know, we've, we've touched on this before, you know, there are some rah-rah elements in terms of, uh, you know, 
EXP, let's go. That's not necessarily a bad thing because uh, the way that I look at it is that, you know, not only are you investing in EXP, but EXP is investing in you as well. So there's actually a plus that like you, you kind of get what you put in, in a sense. Uh, so that's kind of the main thing that I really like is the fact that you know, uh, becoming an icon agent, like it's not just getting the trophy at the end of, or the award at the end of this, at the end of the year at the Christmas party, um, and then putting on your shelf, which is great as motivation for the next year, but there's actually some substance. There's something substantial to getting this icon, not just the prestige, but it's like, you know, you're unlocking $8,000 in a stock. And like that alone is, is a, is an avenue that like, yeah, you're, you're getting stock in a company, which is, you know, if you're at another brokerage, you're, you're giving that away. Like your, your, your cap is gone and, and that's it. Your brokerage yeah. is getting that. Yeah. Um, so the icon is big, so it's nice for the prestige. It's nice getting the stock. And then, you know, they, they have it set up the structure, you know, it's, it's not by chance that, um, you do have to fulfill other requirements once you become an icon to unlock the other portion of your, um, of your cap coming back to you, which is like basically giving back. So it's giving back to people that are already um, in the company and they're kind of scattered throughout the world, which is really cool as well. So, you know, whether it's doing like mentorship or some training, um, you know, kind of along those lines, like those are good things because, um, you know, a lot of us wouldn't be, wouldn't have our business to the spot that we have if we hadn't have picked up on lessons and losses or, you know, from things that, from people that have, you know, kind of forged the path before us, right? For sure. Absolutely. So it's our absolutely. duty to do the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that icon agent um, status that, that you're mentioning there, Sean, I'll, I'll put below a link to the actual uh, math on it. So those listening in, you can take a peek. But essentially um, what you're saying, Sean, is, is the $16,000 that you paid to EXP, you got that back in stock, right? Right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, so, which is great. Yeah. Like how, like I'm 20 years in the business and, uh, you know, I own my own brokerage, but before that I was with a large one and I was paying that, that cap out and stuff and, and it adds up. So yeah. So icon agent is, is definitely, uh, probably would that, would you say that's your number one, um, aha and, and uh, sort of, uh, I think, I think so as a, as a, like, as an in, like, well, I run the team, but like as a, you know, if I were an individual agent, right? Like just focusing on my own personal success. Yeah. I think so because there's so many facets to that, that like make that actually garner some importance. So it's, you know, again, it's getting the award, you know, having that icon status that's recognized across the whole company, which is now, you know, how many countries are we spread across? Like, so 19. it's nice. Yeah. Right. That's wild. That's wild. So, you know, coming from a brokerage that had 17 agents, <laughs> right? So. Yeah. Um, so you get that status, you get all the networking with all those people. And then once they recognize you're recognized as an icon agent, like that's great. So the prestige, the motivation, like I've got it on the shelf in the corner with my other, you know, the other accolades, other awards, which is great. One, the icons, the icon award is actually pretty nice. Yeah. And, um, but again, you look at it and it's like, all right, you know what? Like my hard work got that, that award, which is great. But I associate that award with like, with everything that comes with it, like getting the monetary, like getting that kick back into the stock and like all sure. that stuff, like that actually, it actually means something. It's not just gone to a, an engraving place and then delivered to you and said like, Hey, congrats. Good job, bud. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. You know, you get called up on stage, you get the, the plaque and then it, it's sitting on the shelf, but it's not in, you know, a publicly traded company that uh, every day when, when you're out working on one of your five companies, your stock is actually working as well. So, um, and that's, that's a perfect point, Liam. So that's the thing. So like, you're looking at it, that stock, that, that a trophy or award, you know, represents like your $16,000 cap. But if I'm looking at the same award in five years, like that's yeah. not a $16,000 no. award anymore. No, not at all. Right? Yeah. It, the compounding effect gets, it's really exciting. You mentioned there, Sean, uh, team, um, as you, as you build a team, maybe, unpack that for us uh what is the current landscape where do you see you know the next 12 months with with your growth obviously a lot of production you got a lot of leads you got a lot going on um what does the team look like for you and how is that supported within within exp and, and in our organization more specifically here right so yeah great question um and that was that was a huge thing for me coming over to exp was 
Um, I mentioned my previous brokerage moved over. Well, I actually branched off at that point. Um, so as soon as, and we are, you know, we're all still together. We're still yeah. all still at EXP, but I'm, I'm doing my own thing. So, um, you know, as soon as I moved over because of my production rates, um, coming over, I was, I was, uh, permitted, I was granted to create my own team, which was awesome. Um, and funny enough, I really created it because of the name. Um, you know, my name's Sean McCray, but everybody here knows me as Sean Frost. Um, it's also my music alias. So, um, that in terms of my brand was, was crucial. So that's why I actually started the team nice. and I brought in a full-time admin, uh, from the get-go moving in with EXP. Wicked. So, so I've got Heather, she's, uh, you know, she's amazing. She handles all my paperwork, my day-to-day, -day, uh, paperwork and such. So that's been huge. Yeah. Um, and then I have another admin, uh, that handles a lot of my, community events, my, not social media, but like my community stuff, um, engagements with partnerships for my, you know, with, through EXP, through my real estate stuff. And then as well as my other business ventures. Nice. And then now I've got my first agent. So I have an agent, uh, as part of the team. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, I'm only one deep right now, but I do think, uh, you know, it's a learning curve for me. I want to make sure that I get it right. Uh, don't do anything unless you're going to do it right. So yeah. Uh, having one agent in there has been super cool because I can figure out, you know, I can really formulate things and create a, a system. So for new agents or experienced agents coming over that are going to be part of the team, everything's going to be, you know, all the T's crossed, all the I's dotted. It's going to be a nice, easy transition for people to come into. Um, and I wouldn't have had that if, if EXP hadn't have kind of set that up, uh, sure. you know, so it's, it's yeah. been good. It's been yeah, good. Yeah. And the, the agent you have on now, Sean, uh, brand new agent or a uh, seasoned agent? Brand new agent. Okay. Brand new agent. So, uh, and how did the training look like with, with coming in? Was it uh, both like sort of through EXP's bootcamp or uh, in field training with you? Or how, how did the training work with uh, that transition as you added your first associate agent? Right. So a little bit of A, a little bit of B. Um, yeah. So the, the boot camp was good. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't think he, uh, he finished the boot camp. Yeah. Um, but I know that he did touch in on a few of them. And I know sure. that he was still um, fairly active, just even in the EXP world, like taking on a couple of things. Yeah. Um, probably because, you know, they were uh, mandatory, a couple sure. of them. Yeah. Um, but yeah. they're mandatory for a reason. You're a brand new agent. You don't know what you're doing. Um, why not get some free assistance, right? Like, sure. Again, that structure and like having a path, right, Liam, to like yeah. guide and follow when you're first stepping into the business. It's like, all right, yeah, I've got my, I've become a sales representative. Now, now what? what? Like, how do I start yeah. making money? Like, you don't yeah. walk in and just say like, hey, I've got five listings and three buyers that have budgets of $2 million that we can buy any to, and they're only shopping at, 400,000 so we can, we can win any bidding war. Like that just doesn't happen. Right. Yeah. No, not at all. Not at all. So field work, field work for me for sure has been big. Um, you know, it's setting up those meetings, uh, you know, having the team meetings once a week and going through and answering to the Q and A's, yeah. um, yeah. and which kind of, you know, leads over to, well, what we're doing right now, we're having a conversation. It's, it's, it's those where if, he's, you know, that agent or anybody else looking has questions and it's not really my scope because of EXP. I can easily say, you know what? I have somebody better that will take the time to, to speak with you on this. Like give Liam a call, like Liam will give you 20 minutes or, or half an hour and jump in and ask him, like, we're all working together. There's no competition yeah. here. Like it's ask him, or there's another agent here that actually specializes in this, you know, in, you know, land purchases or this or that, like, I'm okay at it. I'm good at it. I know this, but this person's better. Like, why wouldn't, it's just totally. a quick, a quick connection. It's all networking within, within the same wall. So yeah, yeah have at her. Giddy up. Yeah. yeah. I'd it. love to uh, niche down a little bit on this topic because I understand it. You understand it, Sean, but I just, for this recording here and for people listening in, um, the agent that, that Sean brought in, uh, Sean, he, uh, his name's Ryan, right? Ryan is not a buyer agent, right? No, Ryan's full service. So Ryan is a standalone independent agent, but he's with you in your organization. Yeah. So right. 
what I what I want to sort of try and, and drill down is you are essentially you have a brokerage within a brokerage. Right? Like if you were yeah. at your old brokerage, right at Capital Homes, you would not have you know gone to the ownership and said, Hey, you know, I'm bringing in an agent, but they're in my group. You would have said, Hey, I'm bringing in an agent. They'd say, Thanks, Sean. We love you. Here's a Starbucks gift certificate. And then Ryan would be sitting right beside you at, at the, uh, the boardroom table and, and all that. Not to say there's a hierarchy, but my point that I, I'm hoping to sort of make, if I can in here without stumbling over all my words is, Sean, you, ha you have a brokerage within a brokerage. And you made it very clear to me when you were talking about growing is I'm looking to attract agents in that I can help give back and help them become really strong agents. They're not going to go on a half cap. They are not a team. They're building their brand. I will help them. I'll, you know, provide some leads. I'm going to give them guidance, but can you share a bit of that, Sean? I, I'm just trying to like pull this out because you and I get it, but I think this is very important for people listening in that you're five years in the business. You have not had to open up your own brokers like I did eight years ago and set up a real estate trust, commission trust, general trust. You're rolling your five companies. You're like, hey, let's just add a sixth, i.e. a brokerage without having to actually open a brokerage, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, um, yeah. So in, in the sense of the team, it was, you know, even though we would all be at EXP, it's trying to find like-minded agents, you know, people willing to grind, willing to hustle, willing to put the work in and do it the right way. Um, and basically, you know, my motto is my mantra is live like they dream. Right. So it, it's nice. actually up behind me on the wall. It's, yeah, yeah. you know, so Ryan and I, we go back, we're 20 plus years. Uh, we've been friends and, you know, he was becoming an agent and the, really the only tie within, within the team, like within the brokerage, within a brokerage is the branding and like keeping everything consistent because I want to have agents with me that are representing the brand and getting the brand identity and recognition, um, but also using everything that I've done, like for especially new agents, like using everything that I've worked hard to do and build that recognition and that reputation so that they can use it and, and use it to their advantage. Like use my numbers, use this, use that, you know, you walk in and you're getting all this stuff. So I'm not doing it to make money off of these guys. Like you mentioned, like I'm not doing it to do the half cap, to do I want you to run your own business and be part of, but just be part of the team. It's a team. I'm not getting anything in terms of your deals unless it's standard. Like, unless I'm, I'm giving you the lead, like if I'm giving you the referral, it's just like, it would be everywhere else that you're paying a referral fee from somebody saying, Hey, here's a client I can't take or, you know, but that's, that has nothing to do with the actual team. That's just, you know, agent to agent, that's standard business, right? Sure. Totally. Yeah. The team is just, it's, it's just trying to build that brand and like, build the camaraderie like yeah right if we have the same views the same hustle same everything why not jump in and take advantage of a of a good thing that's already you know like talk totally. to say ride on the coattails but yeah if i can open a door for you to 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 step in that's i you know it, all my in. business is my business is great so it's um i would love that's what we're here for it's it, you have to give back if you're not given you're not getting later. So it's totally, and it's right. Really, you know, there's a few things that are coming to mind is it's duplicatable. And what I mean by that is Ryan, as he starts to build his career and his circles are going to see his rise of production and be like, Hey, Ryan, what's his business about? And Ryan can be like, Hey, why don't you have a chat with Sean and Liam and see what we have going on? And then what happens then, Ryan can then have a brokerage within a brokerage. So it's, it's so like, it's paying it forward. And that's why I'm just, um, I think those that, that maybe haven't spent the time to lean in and look at the model with a very clear lens of just like, what does the opportunity look like? Um, the ability to just like give back and help others grow. And then the wealth creation side, like we've talked on this call here, Sean, um, about icon status, you're going to get your 16 grand back. You know, you have your trophy 
probably in front of you behind your monitor on, on the Zoom call here, but you have your trophy, which is there. It's, it's going to collect dust, but you also have 16 grand that's just going to keep compounding every year. You have the ability to have a brokerage within a brokerage without having to go through all of the, the brain fatigue and responsibility and fog and all that. Like you just flick the switch. This is available to anyone. Um, that's right. So yeah, I also, also Liam to, uh, sorry to cut you off, but important on that with the, the 16 grand is, you know, the, the addition of being able to put, you know, a lot 5% of your commission back into the stock as well. Right. Totally. Um, so that's very cool too. Cause I've, you know, I've sat down, I've gone through this with my financial advisor and my accountant, um, just to see if this was even worthwhile. Cause I was like, man, why don't I just take 5% out myself and then kick it into my other investments. But truthfully, it actually kind of worked. Like they both advised me to, to keep going with this. If I'm building it on the icon side anyway, I might as well be putting the 5% in there. So it's, I never even notice. like it's 5% of what I'm making. Like, I don't notice it. Cause it's not like yeah. it hits my account and yeah. then comes out huge. So, you know, I log into ShareWorks and take a look at it or, or whatever. And yeah. it's like, whoo. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. That's, Sweet. and that's a side, 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 side hustle, right? Like yeah. it's like, that's amazing. Yeah. Totally. We've, we yeah. said that right at, at EXP, there's, there's three ways to, to build wealth. Um, one is production, which we all do buy and sell in real estate. The second is EXPI, the stock. And the third is, is your organization. Uh, it's, it's welcoming people like uh, your contact Ryan into the fold and, and you're going to help him grow, but there's a small slice that you're getting off some of his deals. It doesn't affect him. It's just at EXP, we don't have this massive franchise model with everyone's hand in the pot. Um, we have the ability to make residual income by introducing the model to people that we know, like, and trust. And, and that's, I, I wouldn't mind kind of shifting uh, over on that, Sean, of just sort of sure. the growth of the company and, uh, you know, people looking at making the decisions. And at the beginning of this call, you know, we were talking about how we had lunch together and, and you know, the synergy was there, um, but it took some time, right? It, it took some time to sort of develop that relationship and, uh, and, and come forward with, with like, yeah, this makes sense. It's kind of funny how it actually went down. Your brokerage actually... Uh, I attracted your entire brokerage into EXP and, and as a byproduct, you were there, which was not a byproduct. That was an absolute plus because I knew one day we'd be in business, but um, yeah, like the, the no like and trust, I think is important um, in, in this business, right? We're selling here in, in our hometown, we got what, 3000 agents. And you know, there, there's a number of agents out there that we do deals all the time with. And yep. um, you know, if you're a new agent listening in a new agent, considering you know uh the opportunity um not to be all like pushy salesy like i get it you know there, there's a lot of money to be had when people join and we pride ourselves in um professionally presenting the model to agents but right. what would you how, how you know what would you share sean with with uh, a colleague that was considering exp like what's the first thing they should do Good question. A new agent or existing agent? Existing yeah, agent? Yeah, like an existing agent that is is maybe at, you know, larger brokerage and, and has that uh, sort of big corporate hug around them. And uh, there's a lot of noise, like 19 countries, cloud base, fast moving. Um, what, what does community look like? You're 13 months now with us. What, what's what's our group like? What does what plugging into EXP look like? Share some feedback yeah. on that. Uh, What's the island feel like? Is it an island or what, what is it like? Yeah, it doesn't actually, it doesn't feel like much of an island. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's interesting in that way, you know, cause I feel like maybe there are a couple little islands that are just off the coast of the big one, right. Of the, of like the continent, I guess. Yeah. So, <laughs> nice. um, right. So, yeah. um, and it's, it's a very, very short, short trip, uh, to get to the continent, which is cool. Like that's how it feels, honestly. So it's, uh, it's very cool in terms of the, the dynamic because the network is there because like you said, all cloud-based uh, we can communicate with any agent, like, you know, on workplace, like work chat, everything, like everything's at your fingertips. Right. So if I'm looking for an agent uh, you know, if I'm shopping for a new condo in, in Tampa, like it's pretty easy, right. Yeah. I can actually get a hold of people, um, you know, very, very easily through this. So like everybody is connected 
Um, EXP World's great as well. Um, you know, it did take me a little bit to adjust to it in the sense of um, of what it is. Yeah. Um, but again, like it's it's that sense of community. So like, if you want to jump in on on lectures, on modules, on on whatever, like if there's a topic that you're interested in, well, you can check the schedule and jump in and constantly learn. And like, that's not costing you any money. No. Um, yeah. You know, the brokerage is putting that on for you. Where I don't think that happens a lot. Like they'll do, you know, once a month, somebody could come in and speak on something, which is, which is great at another brokerage. Like that's fine. But the, the range of topics and the fact that everybody's at your fingertips so that if you need to speak to somebody, you know, on a different position or, um, you know, with more experience, like they're there, like you, you can reach out to them. So that's great. And then when you break it down into the smaller groups, like you were talking about, like, you know, you've got a couple of groups going where, you know, there's, there's like-minded agents or agents that belong to a, a previous brokerage or, you know, your boutique brokerage and, and capital homes where I'm from have a group together. So, you know, we're always bouncing, you know, ideas or brainstorming or figuring out, you know, like paying it forward. Like, what can we put together to kind of give out that maybe people aren't applying or adopting in their daily business now, like all that kind of stuff. It's just, there is a big sense of community and I'm not a raw, raw guy like i think i mentioned this already yeah. i don't like that like that's why one of the other reasons i created the team is because like i i'm an entrepreneur i like doing my own thing yeah exp lets me do my own thing you said it's a brokerage within a brokerage i do my own thing every day right i'm not answering to anybody i'm not doing anything i'm following well you know realistically heather my admin is following all the guidelines for the paperwork and all that yeah. and it lets me just be me and that's why my business is you know is explode is doing it is doing what it's doing now right so it's yeah. uh um no it's very very cool and and just stuff like this we're having a simple conversation totally um that's awesome but it's awesome yeah, maybe it's, somebody will pick something up out of this right yeah well that, that's our whole purpose right is to right. to come on here record this put it out because i know when i was looking at joining um i i went down this like marathon of like youtube video after youtube video after youtube video so you know I, I got a lot that I, I have up here that I want to share. I, I know you do as well. So, you know, our, our goal on this 20 minutes, half hour to sort of unpack, you know, as many um, high level opportunities and, and uh, aspects that maybe aren't talked about in, in other videos. Um, I have one final area that I, I'd love for you, Sean, just to, to give some feedback on is something I hear a fair amount from other agents at, at other brokers is just like, how does it work without having that physical office? And I'll myth bust that because I, I actually have an office here. Um, and, uh, I work out of there. Uh, we have boardroom agents can come meet, uh, at EXP. We do get a Regis pass, a white card pass. So you can use that if you want. I know a lot of agents tend to work from home, but can you give some some insight, Sean, into just how like our group, you, me, uh, the brokerage that you came in with, like you get EXP, whether, you know, if someone's going to join EXP, you, you get EXP. Um, but the decision then comes down to how important is it to align with the right group? And more specifically, um, share some feedback on, on the meetings we have, uh, the frequency, what we talk about, what you enjoy just to give our listeners here to some context of cool. I'm an EXP agent. Like, where do I go from here? Right. So I think the first part of that about the, the physical office, so that, you know, that it depends entirely on the individual, right? Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm a, I enjoy working from home. This is my home office. I, that's where I do my best thinking. I do my best work. I'm comfortable. There's not a ton of people around me. Um, I never used the Regis office. Um, you know, it wasn't, wasn't a, even an option. I never thought of that as being something that I was interested in. Yeah. Um, and even when I was at the brokerage before Capital Homes, I never went into the office to work either. Yeah. Um, that's not my vibe. Uh, so if you do like being at the physical office, um, and working with people, then, you know, maybe that's, that's a, a setting that you're, you're looking for. Uh, what I would also suggest though, is that I also took a different approach because I, I have multiple businesses. So I do need a mailing address. I do need a physical office somewhere for all these other companies 
Yeah. Um, so I jumped into a shared office, a, you know, a shared office space, big and open, lots of stuff going on, uh, very, very comfortable. So if you just need to be somewhere, if that's how you work, then I do suggest, you know, the monthly rates on those places are really affordable right now. Yeah, it's nothing. And, you know, 24 seven access. Yeah, great for meetings, get deposit checks dropped off. Yeah, um, you get all the perks. Yeah. Um, and you also kind of get to say that it's your own office, right? Yeah. So, um, so that's an alternative. If you really need that physical office, you don't need to be going to an office that's that's just solely other people that are in your brokerage. Like, yeah, you because you already have access to all of them on your phone and everything. Totally. You don't have to be sitting beside them too, right? Yeah, old um, school. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And like you know, even some of these brokerages, like before, like I know it was like you know you don't have to show up to the office, but we'd like to see your face here once or twice a week. Yeah. That doesn't jive with me. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like yeah. just take a look at, you know, the work that we're doing and send me a text or a quick FaceTime or whatever and be like, man, crushing it. Let's do lunch next week. Yeah. But yeah. We, we have to eat. Let's grab a bite. Right. Sure. Totally. Uh, yeah. So I think the first part uh, in that regard uh, for the office, that's kind of what I would go for. What was the, uh, the second part? Leah? Second part was just the, uh, uh, sort of our organization, like our group, the synergy we have, um, you know, WhatsApp group, our, our meetings, Zoom meetings, our, our get togethers, maybe just give some context on, on how we, you know, who you join with matters, right? Like you join, you're going to get EXP, you get EXP, you get EXP. Then the decision comes down to once, once the decision is I'm joining EXP, it comes down to who should I align with? And that decision is usually like, what do you get? Yeah. So that's the important, that's the important one, right? So we're talking about eXp and eXp, you know, it's great. I'm very happy here. Uh, they do offer a lot of perks. That's the important, important question is who are you going to be dealing with on the daily basis in terms of your resources, right? Who's yeah. part of your extended real estate family and who's nice. part of your team where yeah. they're looking out for you, right? Like who's yeah. got, who's got your best interests in mind when you're going to need help, right? Yeah. Um, and not just kind of fulfill a duty of answering a question, but actually be there to help you. And, you know, we do that. I think you do that, uh, quite well without pumping your tires or over inflating <laughs> your tires, but we're, where there are topics that get sent out and it's, if you have an interest in this, jump in, if you don't, then don't right. Wait for the next one. And, and I'm a prime example of that. You know, if something comes out and it's like, you know, that's not really applying to my, to my business, or I don't feel that I need any direction there or, yeah. you know, for anybody, like, I just, I don't have the time to a lot to do in that regard, because I don't think that it's a necessity, yeah. then don't do it. But then yeah. we have other discussions where it's like, Hey, what do you think about this? And it's like, well, yeah, like I would, I don't know enough, or I'd like to know more, or maybe I think I know a lot and I can offer some, you know, some actual insight into the conversation and help somebody else. Cause then the next time that I jump into something, I'm going totally. to be getting help from them on something like, man, it's, it's free. It's so it's refreshing. It's, it's so yeah. refreshing, Sean. You have such a, a pay it forward um, uh, DNA genetic vibe. Like you and I were chatting last week and, and we have a, a 90 day boot camp for brand new agents coming in. So if you're listening to this and you're new, uh, reach out to Sean or I, and we can expand on that. And you said to me, you're like, Liam, like I'd be happy to, to kind of come in as, as sort of, you know, guest speaker, give you some perspective, five years in the business, not 20 years like me, but, you know, crushing it, you know? Um, and that's just, it, it speaks to the group and the support and the, we're all in it together. So, um, man, and, this has been a Liam, lot of fun. Liam, I should mention too, remember like working with these tight groups, like, like, you know, the tighter, the smaller groups, um, even as they expand because everybody's in here like-minded and like same work ethic, right? We're on the same page. So that translates out to the field too, right? Like this is all just the team discussions, but think about like, you know, you have a listing coming up. Like we went through this the, uh, a little while ago. Yeah. I had a listing that was tough to move. Yeah. Right. I jumped in on our discussion. We had a big yeah. zoom call going and I said, Hey guys, you yeah. know, new agents, experienced agents. Uh, it didn't matter to me. It was like, Hey, this is what I've been doing. Yeah. It's not really working. I'm open to some suggestions. Yeah. Does anybody have any ideas? Right. And we had a chat about it. Totally. That's amazing. And then the power of that, but then also the power of like me having a listing yeah. or going in with buyers 
and the listing is is being represented by an agent that is in our group or that we have discussions with. Yeah. Well, those lines of communication are already so strong. You don't you get to avoid, you know, any like uh, I guess complications that could arise in terms of just the communication side. Totally. That bond is already there. So it's like, hey, can we work a deal out together? Yeah, absolutely. That's everybody winning, right? Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Man, I could we could go on for hours and hours. <laughs> it's uh it's <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um I think if I could say one last thing, Liam. Go for it. If I could say one last thing, you mentioned the brokerage within a brokerage. Yeah. Um, I think this is a testament and this isn't like, you know, we haven't even spoken about this. I've never even mentioned this. I was just thinking okay. about it while we were having uh, this conversation, but yeah. you know, a brokerage within a brokerage, like I'm a broker and I'm an entrepreneur, so yeah. I don't work for anybody. Right. I don't have, and nobody is yeah. my boss yet. I'm staying at EXP because I'm happy here rather than going and opening my own brokerage. Wow. Right. So that's the only thing that like technically yeah. like I'm, I'm a, an agent, a broker under EXP. Yeah. No other, no other Avenue in my, in my, um, you know, business life. Is there somebody that that's kind of, I shouldn't say above me, but like sure. I'm, I run yeah. my own companies, my You're own the CEO, president, entrepreneur, of course, box stops there. Um, but that's how, that's how I feel about the setup. I feel about the team. EXP yeah. is great, but it's, it's the team and the group yeah. that we have and the freedom to kind of do the things that I want to do as well as run the other companies. Like totally. the, the, the synergy, the vibe, the, the flex on it is just, yeah. um, it's there. So that, yeah. you know, that's awesome. It is yeah, so yeah. true. Like I, I had it. So, um, I had, you might have considered doing before EXP, i.e. start your own brokerage. Like your, your, uh, risk on you're entrepreneurial, let's go one spin around this rock. Why don't I open up my own shop? Right. That, that was me. And, and that was likely you, but after eight years of running my own shop, there's no better place to be than EXP because I'm running my own shop within a shop. Right. And I'm not having to do the adult babysitting like I used to. Okay. <laughs> um, right. Those responsibilities are looked after very well by EXP. What I can do is help mentor, coach, and scale agents to the next level. And I, I see that with you, Sean, 100%. I'm super proud uh, to oh, see thanks, you build it and grow with, you know, Ryan right now. And then, um, you know, as we wrap it up here, Sean, 12 months from now, what's a, what's a target of a number of agents you would like to personally uh, grow, like help them grow out there? So how many Ryans, how many more agents in a, in a full year, would you like to uh, get to know, like, and trust and align with and help them build their businesses? Yeah, fair question. So I think two is going to be the absolute minimum. Nice. And I think, uh, I think realistically somewhere around that five mark is, uh, is probably somewhere where I will be, you know, everything's, everything's kind of set now um, just with regards to the Sean Frost real estate team. And if that's not for everybody, like, that's not to say that everybody that I talk to is going to want to be part of this, ha take on that branding, right? Totally. And, and it they doesn't matter. Happen, right? they, yeah, they exactly. Can, it doesn't matter. Out. Yeah, exactly. And we're still teammates. That, we're still part the of the family. Thing. That's the beautiful thing, man. So right. if you're listening in and uh, you're enjoying hearing Sean's journey, um, he's got, he's got room for five. So <laughs> think about that. Uh, but Sean, I've got room for a ton thing? more coming over to the family, man. The family, the family is... Yeah, is, uh, you know, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Come no on. Family what's the back. best way? What's the best way, Sean, for, uh, people to find you? What are, what are your, uh, what's your IG and, and, uh, contact info for people to reach out? Yeah. So, uh, on socials, it's uh, at, I am Sean Frost, um, across the board. And then, uh, of course, www.seanfrost.com. And uh, Google, uh, I am the Sean Frost. I am the verified Sean Frost as per Google. So you can nice. Google Sean Frost and I'll pop up there as well. So wicked. But we'll pop those in uh, on the screen. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for carving in some time for me, Sean. I always enjoy chatting. It's kind of fun doing a recorded session here because we just always get into these awesome conversations. So <laughs> now we have uh, a piece of collateral that uh, we, we can lean into in that. So 
thanks so much, man. Enjoy your week. And yeah, uh, you too. be sure to reach out to Sean, guys, if, uh, if you're curious. He's, he's uh, just a wealth of knowledge, super good guy, and all about <laughs> giving back. So reach out. Yeah, right on. Holler right, at me. Right on. Take care, man. Right. See ya. Bye. Cheers.